Okay, so I went in there, um, and they have wigs, they have bras, they have little, like, prosthetic inserts that you can put into your bra, so even though you wouldn't really have boobs when you're wearing a shirt, you can still kind of look like you have boobs. Um, they have this weird, uh, serum for your eyebrows and eyelashes. $40 and lasts about a month, they said, and I'm trying to figure out exactly how necessary that is. Because I bought fake lashes that I can glue on, which I wouldn't necessarily mind doing, and then I already fill in my eyebrows anyways, so I feel like actually having eyebrow hair might not be quite as important. Um, and then there's there was a lot of stuff in there. It definitely seemed really pricey. Some things that were in there, though, were totally covered by insurance if I needed them. Like, there was a camisole that had uh, two pockets for, like, the inserts. And then there was also another compartment in the cami that was for your drain tubes after the mastectomy. And I will have a bilateral mastectomy. So something like that will probably come in handy. And um, that's something that insurance pays for, thankfully. My insurance should cover that anyways. So we'll see what happens. And we'll see if I go in there again and buy anything. The wigs were kind of cute. And I'm digging the short hair, not going to lie. So I'm kind of thinking I want a short wig too because I bought a long pretty one. And then... Um, Maybe I'll order a short one from them or go in there and try one on. And then they also have like caps and wraps and stuff like that. But I really want to learn how to um, wrap my head uh, like a turban top knot style. It looks pretty cute. I've seen it. Um, so yeah, I think I'll probably go back in there. But there's another shop that I want to look at over on Garland on the other side of town. The American Cancer Society, I believe it was what it was called, and so uh, if I go check it out, I'll totally let you know. Alright, bye!